Any more questions? How do you make a, how do you make a, a blog work? I mean, and I mean, I guess people blog, if you have a blog, you do it just because of your interest in what you're blogging? I mean, do you make money at it? Do you finance it at all? Or? Um, now we're a nonprofit, so yeah. we, we've got, I mean, there are about 10 organizations across the U.S. that fund organizations like us that are interested in it. Um, beyond that, no, I don't, I don't know, no one, I mean, if, if I knew how to make money doing this, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd be on my yacht right now instead of hanging out here. Uh, no, no offense, you're, you're quality people. Uh, I'd invite you on my yacht. I, <laughs> You'd be bored. You know? <laughs> um, but I, I don't know, but it will come. Something will happen. And I'll give you an example. Um, there was a, an account recently uh, in the world of advertising, um, how it usually worked, is there was a, there was a, a company, I forget the name, they did uh, plus-size women's clothing, and I, I, I don't even remember the... They, but they're a big, big national chain, big national company. Lane Bryant. Lane Bryant, it's what it was. And um, so the, what you do is they send out an RFP, they send out a, a, re say, a request saying, hey, we'll, we'll accept offers to run our advertising uh, campaign. And all the major networks send their people to say, oh, we're going to do this, and we'll uh, advertise on this program and you know, at midnight or however they do it in the TV program. The TVs didn't get the advertising. Newspaper didn't get the advertising. And a website called Match.com got the advertising. Got the advertising. Match.com is a website for singles to find looking for your mate. And if you've ever been on Match.com, you got to fill out who you are and what you look like, and there's a, there's a, a, a you know, and your body type you have to put. And they say they say the play way, you know. And, um, but there's a code word for who would be interested in plus size clothing. Well, Match.com said, you know what? We've got three million people with this body type that every time they go on their website, your ad will pop up and you will see their eyes. Their eyes will see your ad directly. It is a new world. TV stations, newspapers, they've largely been monopoly for me. It's only an entrepreneurial mind. I think only a mind outside of that, of that world uh, will... We'll come up with the answer on how to make money. Uh, I know for I know I pay for content. I have satellite radio, which I love. I get HBO. I like The Sopranos. I will pay for good content. Um, there's a website that I follow every day that I've donated money to. It's called the Comics Curmudgeon. Comicscurmudgeon.com. Uh, it's a guy who analyzes the comics. He, he, uh, and he just makes fun of, of like Mary Worth and. Uh, uh, he went on a passionate crusade against for better or for worse. Uh, he's tongue in cheek and funny and interesting, and it has nothing to do with news. I just love it. So I sent him money. He's got a little donation uh, uh, task. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. Someone will start making money off this at some point, and uh, uh, you know, I wish I had that kind of brain. I, I don't. Um, I should have done. Uh, all that drinking in my youth. <laughs> <laughs> Lori, if uh, you want to enlighten us a little bit on... I actually have a question. Um, so, oh. well, the big one <laughs> okay. Um, the, the problem I see, I, I blog and know a lot of bloggers, and um, I don't think there's a shortage of people going out there and, and finding stories or um, reporting things. I think the problem that I see is breaking into the Drudge Report or, or a bigger... Um, outlet that gets picked up by the media because mm -hmm. even though the internet, you know, as, as much as it's grown, there's still a lot of people who get their news, you know, from the TV, the Today Show and all that. And my question is, what is the best way for these small stories to break through and get picked up by just a um, wider um, What I would do to start with is um, join with your fellow bloggers. I mean, become a... Uh, you know, become a network of yourself. That when you've got a good story, you announce it to your bloggers, please link to me, please talk about my story, please send it to Drudge, and, and but look at the others. Have a whole list of, of big websites that you will send it to. 
Uh, there's Drudge. There's Instapundent. Uh, FARC that just has interesting and quirky stories on it uh, with no particular leaning. Um, you know, once it gets picked up by one of those. Well, I Instapundent now, Glenn Reynolds, you know, I mean, he, he picks us all the time, but it's, I think the, the problem I see is more the right left, mm -hmm. where the, the right side of the block sphere has trouble getting their stories picked up, whereas you have the left, you have Keith Olbermann on the Mississippi City right. who reads the black blocks. The, the only thing I would recommend, and again, we're in a, we're in a weird new world too, I, I think it helps to create original content. I think opinion is less likely to get picked up. I think original content helps, and that's exactly what we're talking about here today, is finding the original con uh, content. Finding something that's sort of, you know, I, I called it in the journalism world sort of the, the hey, Martha, look at this moment. You know, and I wanted my story always in the morning to be when there was a couple at the paper and the guys reading the, the newspaper, and, oh, Martha, look at you. I want that sort of stories. I wanted to write those kinds of stories. Finding original content. Doing the kinds of things that we're, we're talking about today during this two-day training is one way to step down that path. It's like, I wish I had a magical uh, way to get on Drudge every time. I mean, I, we were on there once, and it's like, I mean, it's like drinking from a uh, fire hose. I mean, it's crazy with the traffic that, uh, that comes in. Uh, and always just save your stuff out. Have a good media list. You never know um, who's out there. There was one gentleman I was talking to. Is he still? Yes, he is. He's still here. And um, he told me, he said, what about credit? How do you get credit? You know, newspapers are out there, and because of the decline of newspapers, these reporters are reading the blogs now. They're stealing stories. Hey, I, I kind of like that. And I, I, mean, I would do that all the time as a reporter. I, I built a career off all your backs uh, while I still have one. Um, but you know what? You are competition. And... Um, you know, if you're forcing them to do journalism, uh, good, good for you. Uh, uh, but, uh, boy, that was a, the longest way I could think of to say I had no idea. <laughs> okay. Another question? Okay. Well, Trent, thanks for coming out. Right. I appreciate Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Right.